my beauty friends welcome back and as promised I've got a new tutorial for you so let's have a look then at what I've been making I'll bring this in let's have a look so I'll bring you in a little bit Woo! It's a bit fast one to do. <laughs> not kidding you it's 32.7 degrees up here in this uh, what to call it my bead studio getting all posh my bead room up the top of the garden it's 32.7 degrees and I've got two fans going and I'm sweating more than a cheetah running through the Sahara Desert but my mother bless her she's not aware there's any more but she used to say Jane horses sweat men perspire ladies glow <laughs> anyway, off I go digressing. So I wanted to bring and show you these earrings that I've called the Beverly earrings. Uh, why the Beverly earrings? Because my friend, Beverly, Bev for short, she, if you remember back, I think it was two videos ago, I made some hearts and did the tutorial on the hearts and um, Beverly, Bev was a customer and bought a heart and she wanted some earrings to go to go with it so I made her some earrings to go with it and then she wanted another pair of earrings the same as what this style is and um, hence the name the Beverly earrings so here's what I've been doing then this is a lovely pair in gorgeous coppers gorgeous and they're just super duos 11 OC beads 15 OC beads a 4 millimeter bicone and some um, jump rings and ear wires I will go through everything that you need to make these in a second I just wanted to show you these are so pretty And the gorgeous purples. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, I think they're gorgeous. Beautiful. Really pretty. And then I did something a bit out of my comfort zone. But I think, as in, I wasn't quite sure on these crystal super duos. Like crystal clear. But I think they look a bit like daisies. So, um but I did, I will warn you in a second when I give you your bead counts that the 15 O's around the edge of these are my Yuki ones and the other ones are Toho brand now in the Toho brand you only need 5 15 O's to go around for the embellishment if you're using my Yuki 15 O's you will need 7 Otherwise, it doesn't work out right. But I will go through that within a second. Don't they look like daisies? Daisy, daisy. Better not sing that. I'll be done for copyright. <laughs> and then, oh, hello, fly. And then I've just made this, and we're going to make the other one to go with it. So this is a nice pastel blue. Pastel blue. So to make these earrings then guys, you only need really limited um, bead supplies. So each flower, or each Beverly earring, takes 8 Super Duos. So you'll need 16 Super Duos all told. A few 11 O seed beads. And a cap full of 15 OC beads. You will need a, sorry, not a, you will need two, two four millimeter bicone. You will need four jump rings. These are five millimeter, well, they could be four actually. four or five we'll say so you want to make a pair of earrings you'll need four four or five mil jump rings and some ear wires 
well you'll need two, not some, you'll need two, two ear wires. Your tools of the trade for today is a size 12 beading needle, some thread of your choice, I am using 1G thread today. And you will need, in measurement wise, from your finger up to your shoulder and that is absolutely plenty, you don't need any more than that. And yes, I have pre-threaded my needle because threading a needle whilst filming is a nightmare. You'll hear me say all kinds of naughty words that I'm not supposed to say and I'd have to bleep them out. So, my thread. You will need a pair of scissors, sorry scissors, I've got these cute little heron ones or pelican ones or <laughs> but you don't have to have these exact same scissors, any scissors as long as they're sharp. I can't remember where I had these from, I think I had them from um, a bead, did I get, where did I get them from? I think I got them somewhere like the range or something, or was it Hobbycraft? Somewhere like that, and cute little embroidery, they're embroidery uh, scissors. I wouldn't use them on fire line, because they will blunt them. Um, but for um, cottons and things, they're great. So you'll need those. You'll need some pliers to open and close our jump rings. So you need a pair of pliers. Um, so yeah, super duos. So I'm just going to get out eight at the moment. Two, four, six, eight. So if you've got um, super duos left over from a project and you've got sort of 16 of them and you think, what can I do with those? And you just put them aside. Now you know. So you will need 16, all told, and obviously I only need 8 this time because I'm making the other one to this. You will need a few um, 11 OC beads, and it is just a few. Um, I'm sorry I can't tell you the colour of these guys, this is how they've come to me. Um, I've not bought them... Um, from a bead shop per se, I bought them from, um, where did I get these from? Uh, Pahim Craft, she does um, online selling, so you could look for her on Facebook, so I had those from her, and also some lovely baby, it's like a baby blue, size 15 C bead. Um, you only need a few of those, that's probably, I'll just put a few more out just because. And again, I haven't got the tube, I don't know the exact colour, but it's like a very nice baby blue. Baby blue, gosh, it's so hot. Um, again, I had these from Behem Craft. Um, and a 4mm little bicone bead. and an ear wire and two jump rings okay so get your bits and pieces together sorry if you're rocking get your bits and pieces together and we'll be right back right so we've got all our bits together then so let's get beading and make the other one to this lovely earring. Right, so you threaded your needle. Thread your needle with your thread. And we need to pick up the eight super duos. onto our needle. We're going to drop these down 
towards the tail end of our thread, leaving a little tail. And then we're going to bring our needle round in a circle and just make these super duos into a loop. So I've passed my needle through them all. Make sure that you don't miss any out. Make sure you go through the top of the hole only. Holding on to our tail end then so we don't lose our beads. Pull the beads through the thread and we end up with this. And we're just going to turn our super duos now into a circle. Grabbing our tail end and our working thread, we're going to make a couple of loops. Pass loops, knots. Pass the thread through and slowly pull up, putting our first knot on. We're just going to do that again then. So wrapping the thread round, passing the needle through the loop, pull our two ends together, giving us another knot and pull tight. Last one then, and this time instead of passing our needle through, we're going to put our tail end through. She says. which gives us this nice little flower. So our tail end is coming out between these two super duos here at the bottom. I'm just going to take the needle and pass through two of our super duos. And this is what we have. So our tail end is coming out here and I've just passed the needle through two super duos exiting here. Okay, now we're just going to pick up one 15 OC bead, our 4mm bicone and another 15 OC bead. And we're going to count one, two, three, four super duos up and go through the fifth one. And the sixth if you can get through. So we're meeting the tail end. Pull it down. And that takes it into place. And we need to come through another two super duos so we are back where we started so we've gone through four super duos or told so now we're going to go back up through 15 o the bicone and the 15O at the top. Pull our work through. And then come through another couple of super duos. Our thread is exiting the bottom hole of the super duo and we're just going to come through the top of the same super duo that we're exiting. Now at this stage you can cut the tail end off if you want to which I'm going to do now with my super duper scissors. <laughs> Pull up 
pulling our weight nice and tight and giving it a snip. Okay, so we're exiting the top of our Super Duo here now and all we're going to do is pick up an 11 OC bead and go through the top of our next Super Duo. And we're just going to follow our little flower design around, adding an 11 OC bead in between each Super Duo. Putting our thumb and finger over the top of our beads as we go. And we're just going to go around. Do you know I had to stop? It was killing me. Oh, I was so hot. It was like it got to 35 degrees in here. So um, I went in and cooked tea and I've had a shower. It's now I think it's half past eight in the evening and it's 27 degrees in here. <laughs> Which is a lot better than the than what it was. So we've come all the way around so now all we're going to do is pull our, be our thread a bit. We don't want it to dome, we just want it to keep flat. Okay? And if you want yours to dome then you pull it as tight as you like but I like mine to be flat. So we're just going to reinforce our work now. So, working our way round. Just going through each Super Duo and each 11O C bead. Giving a little pull as we go. Just keeping everything nice and secure. Oh, I enjoyed my cool shower. Oh, it's nothing nice. Nicer than a cool shower when you've been red hot. And this but this old cottage that we live in, it's made of granite. And inside it's quite cool. So it is quite nice if it's really hot outside to be able to go in and cool off. Even nicer in a nice cool shower the way. Makes you feel nice and fresh. snagged thread there. It's okay, it's still in there, I can pull that. Okay. Now here I'll go we just, because we're at the top now, we just want to go through the Super Duo missing out the C bead. So we're just going through the Super Duo. Give it a pull. And now we're going to start embellishing it. So we need to pick up five 15 O C beads. Three, four, five. So we've got five 15 O's on our needle. And we're going to skip from this Super Duo over to the next one. So we're missing out the 11 O and we're just going through the next Super Duo at the top. Like that. Okay. Pull our beads round. I think my thread's getting a bit. I'll have to loosen it off. Ooh, I've got myself in a bit of a pickle here, guys. Isn't it? What's going on here? That's it. I'll have to do a bit of a dangle. 
Oh, it's going well. Right. If yours does what mine's just done, just run the, your fingers through your thread and your beadwork will do a bit, bit of a twizzle and end up right. Now, I know it looks a bit wonky, but bear with because the next row sorts it out. I should say the next go round sorts it out. So 550 nose missing the 11 OC bead and going into the next super duo in the round. Okay. And this is basically all we're going to do on this round is adding 5 15 OC beads. Missing the 11 0 and going into the next super duo. I know it looks funky. You're thinking that doesn't look like that other one, which it doesn't yet, does it? It doesn't look nice and pointed like that. But all will be revealed. Stay with me. So, five, fifteen O's, jumping over and into the next super duo. Well, while I was having my tea, it was sausage, egg and chip night tonight. So, we're watching a bit of news. Well, spotlight is what we have down here in Cornwall. So it's like a thing for the southwest. And um, it's about the weather. Well, we're going to have another hot day tomorrow. And then going into next week, it's going to be dropping down to 15 degrees. So it's going to be like jumpers weather out again. It's going to be a right shock to the system. And then everybody will be getting colds, won't they? Because of the temperature change. So five. And you know, we still haven't been to the beach. I didn't go. Still haven't been to the beach in what? I don't know how long is it now? Oh, just pinged a bead. Is it four months? Three, four, five. Time to go and do a bit of beach combing. Bit of sea glass hunting, see what I can find. Oh, I love sea glass. Three, four, five. And we're coming up to the last one then. So, again, through the last super duo in this round, now we're going to make it look like this one. And you think to yourself, how are you going to do that? Well, Bear with me and I'll show you. So we're exiting this super duo and we're going to come up through two of the 15 OC beads, pull our thread, miss a 15 O, go down through two 15s and into the top of the next super duo and when you pull it makes it into a little pico okay so again then we're coming out of the super duo we're going to come up through two of the 15s Making sure our thread doesn't catch on the bicone. Missing a 15. Going down the next two. And into Super Duo if you can. If you can't get through the Super Duo, 
all in one go, then go down your 15s and then go through your super duo after, it doesn't make any difference. And pull. If your thread isn't pulling right, if it's not sitting underneath the bead, give your top bead a little wiggle and then pull and it'll all fall into place. So again then, up through to 50 nose. Miss a 15, down two, and into the next super duo. Well, I like to turn my work as I go. If it isn't sitting right, give it a little pull, little wiggle with your needle, pull your thread and then it will pop into place. Up through two. Miss one. Down two. And the super duo. Wiggle it just a little bit. Come on and wiggle it. <laughs> Up through two. Missing one. Down through two. And you super duo. through two, down two, super duo, oh I'm loving these earrings. I might try and make one into a pendant. Ooh, I might do. What do you think? Can I make a pendant to go with the earrings? Birds are singing. Don't know whether you can hear them above my uh, fan because <laughs> it's still quite warm. There we go. Coming near the end now. Just going to drop my thread down again. Right, we're at the top then. So now we're going to go through the two 15 O's and into the top 15 O. And now we're going to make this little diamond on the top. Now, if you just want to do a circle, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to make this little diamond for mine to sit in. Okay. So to do the diamond then I think it's seven, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So we need to pick up 
seven of our fifteen O's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just check. Two, four, six, seven. Our thread is exiting over here, so we're just going to come round in a circle. Okay, just come round in a circle. Now I'm just going to flip mine over to the back side because I just want to come through these beads all again. Just like we did in the centre on our super duos going round. That's all I'm doing now. It's going round and then back through our bottom one. Don't lose your tail, Jane, or else. Okay. Right. To make our little diamond shape we're going to do picots like we did here so it's just a case of missing a bead out so I'm going up through one of the 15 O's missing one and going through the next so I'm missing the next one and going through the next one if it doesn't sit right Give it a wiggle. Miss one, go through the next one. Miss one, go through the next one and go through the bottom one and turn our work over. And you can see the threads on the outside, so we just need to flip it with our needle and give it a pull. And there you have a nice diamond shape up at the top. <laughs> and our earring is nearly done, so what we need to do now is go through the two fifteens. Our thread is exiting here at the top. Go through the nose two fifteens and into super duo. Make sure our thread doesn't get caught on the top. And we're going to put in a couple of half inch knots. So, grabbing the thread between the Super Duo and the 11 o, pull down the loop, put our needle through the loop, slowly pull it down and that will form a little knot in between the Super Duo and the 11 o. Pass through the 11 o and the next Super Duo. And again, just picking up the thread between the Super Duo and the, the 11 O. Pull down to a little loop, put our needle through the loop, slowly pull down and that puts a knot in between those beads. Now if you want to carry on and put some more knots in, then you carry on and do that. Me, I'm just going to pass through a few beads. And that's me done. I'm going to cut my thread off. Oh, back's killing me, guys. Ooh, just have a relax a minute. Ooh, right. <laughs> so, all we need to do now then is attach our jump rings and our ear hook. So, to do that then, we need our jump ring 
and our pliers. Opening and oh dear, she says. Opening and closing. No, just opening. We'll close it in a second. Open our jump ring. Pop it through our new beautiful earring. Closing the jump ring, making sure it's closed nicely and those two ends are together. I think I've got something in my eye, I can't see right. My eye's a bit blue, I wonder if I've got a bit of... Probably got shampoo in my eye. No, it sting there, I want it. <laughs> but you think I'm a right one. <laughs> I don't know, I'm talking, I'm talking rubbish now. I'm talking absolute tripe. I know what it is, it's that oil stuff. I've put some oil stuff and try and make my skin look lovely. And I put some this oil stuff on my face and um, I think I might have to put a bit too much on because I'm desperate to look younger. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. <laughs> and I think a bit stripped in my eye. <laughs> I've got this film over my left eye. <laughs> right. Opening our jump ring then, always from north to south, never from east to west. Popping that jump ring through the other jump ring and closing our jump ring snug together. Okay, so the last bit then is where's the that oil's driving me mad now. Oh dear, there we are. <laughs> it's there. Right, we need to make sure that we put this on the right way. So, let's have a little look. So that needs to go at the front. Is that going to be at the front? Yes. Might be the first time I've done it. If I've done it wrong now. There we are, and there we have our finished lovely little earring. All you need to do now is go on and make your second. You can rewind the video. No, Jane, they don't rewind anymore. You can. Well, I suppose it is rewinding, really, isn't isn't it? You can go back to the start. So, it is rewinding, because I always associate rewinding with VHS videos. Do you remember them? Or oh, I'm showing my age too much now, where they used to have a big black disc and used to be VHS or Beta, Beta Max. And used to have this great big video box. It was massive that used to sit on the tally. <laughs> and the tapes used to wear out. Or somebody used to record over your favourite program. <laughs> oh, if anybody's young watching this, they think, what's she going on about? <laughs> so there you are. So there you are. Your very own finished Beverly earrings. I hope that you go on to make lots and I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed the video please leave me a thumbs up, thumbs thumbs, thumbs thumbs. If you don't subscribe to me and you'd like to see more from me please hit the subscribe button, I think it's in red, and um, drop us a comment if you need to say anything to me. I love reading your comments and I answer everybody's comments. So it would be nice to hear from you. Drop us a comment, let me know that you're all okay and what colour you go on to make and what colour's your favourite. Um, I might 
let's see if I can make a pendant to go with this. I'll have a play and see if I can come up with something that will that'll, um, that'll go with it. Um, lots in the pipeline, lots of new things in the pipeline. Um, a lady did ask about making something with, with um, crystal cubes. I have loads and loads of crystal cubes. And she says she's got loads and have I got any ideas of what I could do with them, of what she could do with them. And I said, I have lots too. Let me widen you out a little bit. I have lots too, so I'm sure I can come up with something. And this is so pretty. Oh, oh. Mm, lovely. And I love this pink. Gorgeous. Really soft pink. I'm taking two things out the bags. Reds. <laughs> Blues. I have made um, some little dangles. They go nice on some earrings or I like those. Go nice on anything really, won't they? So yeah, I'm going to come up with something to do with those. If there's anything in particular that you'd like to learn, maybe you want to learn a stitch, um, a brick stitch or a peyote stitch or something like that, do let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, and I think that's about it for today then guys. I might share, yeah well, I'll share with you what I have been doing. I've been making some bangles out of memory wire. So, and I've had this memory wire sat in my drawer for ages and just haven't got round to using it. So I've been making some memory wire bangles. What do you think of these? Some lovely um, crystals going on in these. And that's just reminded me, where's those ones with the, um, here we go, with pink ones, with some of the pink crystals in, the cubes, crystal cubes, are they lush? Just made me think of the beach with the nice starfish on. And pearls. And I even made some earrings to match. And these are made out of memory wire as well and they make some lovely big hooped earrings. And they look so nice on because I've tried them on. And they look absolutely lovely on. All glistening. Nice and summery. So if you'd like to see a video on how to make these, do drop a comment and I will make a video on how to make memory wire hooped earrings and bracelets, if that's what you'd like to see. I have lots. <laughs> I went a bit mad. Um, got green ones. And these got um, the cube crystal, so there's an idea for you, for the lady. I'm really sorry, I can't remember your name. Who asked what she could do with um, her crystal cubes? Let's make some memory wire bracelets with them. Gorgeous. And earrings, memory wire earrings. Love. I love them. Couldn't stop. And I did some with some of the rubber tubing that you get. I'd had the rubber tubing in my, in my um, I bought it on a whim, didn't know what I was going to do with it. And anyway, put it on some bangles, some nice crystally black, nice evening wear, and matching earrings. So, if you don't know how to make memory wire bangles, not everybody does, then we can um, make a memory wire bangle together. 
putting some memory wire earrings together. Let me know what you think, guys. Oh, I've been making loads. <laughs> Are there those blue? Oh, I get to see these blues. Look at these. Oh, the lush. Nice and easy, easy to put on, easy to take off. I love them and they're a good size as well if you know what I mean. You know why sometimes I like bangles to be bangles. So I like them to be where a bangle, like these, I like what they sit like where a proper bangle should sit. I don't like them too tight up here and they don't move. I like them down so they move. So let me know whether that's something that you'd be interested in. I mean, for all I know, you might already know how to make lots of bangles and you're not really interested in my bangles. Oh dear. Oh, which is fine. I'm not really bothered. <laughs> You've got to have a laugh, haven't you? Life's too short. Right. Anyway, so that's me done then. I'll let you go, guys. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Making your lovely Beverly earrings. She doesn't know I've called them Beverly yet. She will when I tell her. <laughs> Alright then, guys. So take very good care. And I'll see you on the very next video. I'll see you then. Thumbs, 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 thumbs. <laughs> Bye now. Next level.